cluster is a scary word. Cancer cluster takes it up a notch. A study done by Ohio State scientists show there is a cancer cluster on the Treasure Coast, and they fear, though they do not conclude, toxic algae blooms are to blame. News Channel 5's Wanda Moore live now in Stewart with more. Wanda? Michael and Kelly, people on the Treasure Coast are getting and dying from non-alcohol related liver disease at an alarming rate. The study also shows that the water, even though it's clear, can have toxins in it and anyone in or around the water could be subject to those. The water, part of life for those living in Stewart. Walking down here like six in the morning, and breathing in the seaweed seaweed smell. And that's how it is for Betty Swiren. I mean, I love it. The 2016 algae crisis changed her way of life dramatically. Suddenly, she's scared of the water and what it might do to her grandchildren. I couldn't even let them play in the sand because I was afraid of the toxic. Her worries are warranted. A study from Ohio State shows that people in areas with significant blue-green algae blooms are at a much greater risk to get and die from liver disease. Dr. Edie Witter with Orca says don't panic yet. Uh, but I do think it is something that we need to be paying more attention to. According to Centers for Disease Control and the TC Palm, the death rate from liver disease in Martin, St. Lucie, Okeechobee and Indian River County is nearly twice than the national average. Witter warns, although the water looks clean, we're not in the clear yet. They don't show at the surface, you're not seeing green slime, but they're showing up on our sensors. The last time the sensors picked up a blue-green algae outbreak around Swiren's house was May 18th. It looked so clear, I thought it, it was over. Not only could you ingest the toxins by being in the water or near the water from simply inhaling it, what about the fish? Are they safe to eat? That right now is being tested. And what about the water being used to water our crops? A lot to unpack. We bring it to you all new at 6. Reporting live in Stewart, Wanda Moore, WPTV News Channel 5.